Hello everyone. Uh, it wouldn't be a science experiment in the lab if I didn't leap up from behind the table like that. Um, I'm supporting the lockdown here, but today we've got a different experiment for you. Uh, it's all to do with bioenergetics, in particular photosynthesis. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at leaves and we're going to see have they been photosynthesizing. But let's get going. Okay, so here's all the equipment that we're going to need for this experiment. Our goggles, our tripod, gauze, Bunsen burner and heat proof mat. That's our standard heating things up apparatus. If you're not sure uh, how we can set up the Bunsen burner, check out my video on how to do that. Mr. Pasha from the future here. It's my time to offer a formal apology. Upon filming the video yesterday, I failed to notice that my head was not in it at all. So, you know, I refer to my goggles. My face isn't even in it. Some of you might argue that's an improvement. There you go. The experiment still works, and uh, just listen to what I say and see what I do. Thank you. For this experiment, we've got a range of equipment that we're going to need. Our tripod, gauze, Bunsen burner, heatproof mat, and goggles are our standard apparatus if we're heating something up in the lab. To look at the leaf, funny enough, we're going to need a leaf. Okay, I'll just pick them from outside. We'll also need a beaker, a boiling tube. Now I'm going to keep this in a uh, test tube rack. The reason being is if people tend to lie down like that, they tend to roll off the table and smash. The chemicals that we'll need are ethanol. Now, ethanol is highly flammable. This means that whenever we're getting out the ethanol, we need it to be away from a naked flame and the Bunsen burners off. Indeed, we'll actually turn off the gas to be extra safe. We've also got some iodine. Now, the iodine is what's actually going to tell us if the leaf has been photosynthesizing. Because if the leaf has been doing photosynthesis, then it will produce glucose, and the leaf will turn some of that glucose into starch. It's a long-term energy store, and iodine tells us that starch is present. We also need some tweezers. That's because we're going to be heating up the leaves in various ways, and we want to keep our fingers nice and well away. That's our equipment. So let's get ourselves set up and ready to go. So I've got my goggles on, ties off, uh, tripod over the Bunsen burner on a heatproof mat with the gauze. Next, I'm going to take my beaker and I'm going to fill it about a third full of water. I'm just going to leave this to one side, and then I can light the Bunsen burner and put it on top there. And that stops, that prevents me from accidentally knocking it and smashing glass and pouring water everywhere. Okay, so I'm ready to light the Bunsen burner now. I've got my match and I'm going to make sure that the air hole is closed and I'm going to light the match before turning on the gas, like this. So now I've got my Bunsen burner lit, I'm going to turn it to a roaring blue flame and I'm going to put the beaker of water on top. I'm now going to bring this water up to a nice rolling boil. I'm also now going to stake, take it away and so I'm not sat down on the stool, just in case something goes wrong and then I don't get boiling water on my lap, which wouldn't be nice at all. So now the water's coming to a boil. Now, what's the point of heating this up and using the ethanol? Well, if we were to do the starch test, which is where we add iodine to see a colour change, leaves are annoying in the sense that they're green. So we want to remove that green chlorophyll from the leaf. Now, to do that, we need to actually get at it. So the point, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the leaf and we're going to, not drop it, we're going to put it into the water uh, and just boil it away for about 20, 30 seconds. The purpose of this is to remove the waxy layer on the outside of the leaf. This usually prevents water loss, um, but is also going to prevent our ethanol doing its job of removing the chlorophyll from these leaves. So 20 to 30 seconds, okay, maybe a little bit generous, let's go for 40 seconds, okay, just to remove that outer waxy layer. Now we've made what looks kind of like a bizarre cup of tea, we've taken away, we've taken away that outer waxy layer. I'm just going to fish them out with the tweezers and lay them on the heat proof mat. At this point, I'm then going to turn off the Bunsen burner and turn it off at the wall. Don't want any naked flames for the next step, which is to get the ethanol out. Now we've got this boiling water, we're going to put it to good use. Ethanol has a lower boiling point than water. So that means that the heat from the water will be sufficient to heat up the ethanol to boiling point. I'm going to take my boiling tube and put those leaves into the boiling tube. 
I'm then going to cover them with the ethanol. I've made sure to close up the container, keep it well away, and I've got my leaves in the ethanol. I'm going to put that in there and hopefully we should see it boil. Okay, so you can see inside the tube the ethanol is starting to come to a boil. You can also see it's starting to turn a green colour. This tells us that the chlorophyll is coming out of the leaves and turning them colourless. We're going to leave this boiling away for a good couple of minutes. We can check this by pulling out one of the leaves with the tweezers and to see if it's colourless so that the iodine test will show up. So I've reached this point where the ethanol has clearly turned a nice green colour from the chlorophyll and I can see that the leaf uh, is mostly colourless underneath. Now these can be sometimes tricky to get out of the boiling tube, so that's why I've got this uh, sink eye view. Um, I'm going to pour away the ethanol, nothing wrong with it going down the sink, okay, and you can see the colourless leaves there. Now we actually are going to wash the leaves just to remove any excess ethanol. So what you can do is you can kind of uh, use the tap to give them a bit of a rinse in the test tube, and then pour it out and you can use the tweezer to kind of catch the leaf and put it to one side. And now we've got our leaf. So now we've got our mostly colourless leaves. Uh, I've laid them out on this tile. Now the reason we use the tile is it gives us a nice plain white background from which to judge any colour change. And I'm going to take a couple of drops of the iodine and I am going to dot it on the leaf. So now I've dropped the ethanol on. Now, um, it's quite hard to see often a lot of the time, so be prepared. Don't think that you're gonna get some beautiful textbook result. Often the picture which you show in the, um, in the textbook is, you know, is subject to lots of different um, conditions. So for instance, these might not have had that much sun recently. But you can see that even though they haven't changed color much, especially on this one, we can see these darker spots arising. Now, admittedly there was a few dots beforehand, but you can see they're definitely darker in color. You can also potentially see a bit of a faint background blue. Um, if we didn't have this on the tile, we wouldn't be able to pick up any of that. I will also include a picture of it when it goes really well here. Okay, but that is testing our leaves for starch, testing to see if they have done photosynthesis. So there we have it, another nice straightforward experiment, this time about photosynthesis. Hopefully you can get to the lab to do this one. The results might not always work out, but Fingers crossed they do. Things never go to plan in a lab. It'd be a bit boring otherwise. Hopefully you found this useful and you can get some better results than I did. Make sure your leaf is in the sun. <laughs>